Bed Bath Chief Executive Stephen Tamirs said on a conference call that his company is trying its best to blunt the impact of the Trump administration's economic policies by finding suppliers elsewhere, but such moves would take time, it's a little bit of a black hole, he said. We're working it very aggressively, and we'll have to see, Bed Bath didn't quantify the toll taken by the tariffs. Last week the White House escalated its trade war with China by saying it would impose tariffs on $200 billion worth of goods on top of the $50 billion already instituted earlier this year. The news was the latest in a series of blows for the union, NJ-based retailer, which has struggled to adapt to the age of Amazon. Heading into today, its stock price had lost half its value since spring 2017 and now is at its lowest point since 2000. Bed Bath reported that same-store sales fell for the sixth consecutive quarter, and earnings fell short of Wall Street targets. Retailer also lowered its financial guidance for the year and said earnings probably wouldn't grow again until 2020. Hoboken-based Newell Rubbermaid, which makes crockpots and Sharpie pens, warned in August that Chinese tariffs could cost it $100 million in revenue. Nationally Alcoa, Caterpillar, General Motors, Harley-Davidson and Whirlpool also have said the trade wars have affected business.